Isn't this great? Since those nerds in accounting moved, you and I are the only ones who use this bathroom. Yeah, great. <laughs> bathroom at work today and i see peggy using a seat protector so so we're the only women on the floor i mean we're like roommates w would you use a seat protector if you had a roommate <laughs> i the damage is probably already done all right i'll get this <laughs> no maybe she just practices good hygiene yeah you're right she's probably one of those neurotic clean freaks mm. Take mine. There's a little left. Oh, thanks, Walter. <laughs> Peggy, we've got to talk. What is it about me that you find so offensive? You seem to be with a lot of men. What? I happen to have a very steady boyfriend. <laughs> you know, I mean, we broke up a few times and there has been an occasional guy here or there but I'm, what, why is this your business it's not good day <laughs> oh, all right you think i've got germs i'll give you some germs how about some for your keyboard huh how about that? Oh, how about for your stapler hmm? that's good isn't it you have a happy and a healthy people. Peggy is homesick. Oh, please. She's stuffed up, achy, and suffering from intense malaise. Oh, come on. We all have intense malaise. <laughs> right? I just spoke with her, Elaine. She's in bed. Yeah, let me tell you something. This is all in her mind, okay? She's insane. She thinks I made her sick because I coughed on her doorknob, rubbed her stapler in my armpit, and put her keyboard on my butt. <laughs> Yeah, she's a wacko. Oh, come on, Clarkman. Buddy. Is uh, David Putty there? This is Buddy. Well, this is Kramer. I know. Uh, uh, listen, you're a mechanic. Could you help me install a garbage disposal? Well, it's a big job. You've got to dismantle the latch hasp from the auxiliary drainage line. Oh, it says main line. It's a misprint. What do you got, a Clarkman? Yeah. Hey, but I'll call you back. I'll talk you through it. Oh, okay. Well, thanks, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, babe, your boss called. You owe five bucks for a balloon bouquet. Yeah, he says you can just give it to him tomorrow when you see him. Balloon bouquet for who? Peggy took a turn for the worse. Peggy, huh, great. I suppose she's still blaming me? That's what he said. Yeah. I don't believe this woman. Talk to me, babe. She's this crazy woman who is convinced that my germs make her sick. I'm a germaphobe. I know what that's about. Huh? I'm a recovering germaphobe. Ten years. What is this symbol? It's a germ. Elaine, it was very nice of you to bring the man you're currently sleeping with over here to talk to me, but I assure you, I don't have any problem with germs. Don't you, Elaine? Oh, please! I know it looks bleak. I've been there. Ten years ago, waking up in bed next to a woman like this would have sent me running for the FISA heads. I still have trouble looking at those disgusting old bedroom slippers she slobs around. Hey! had those since college they're bunnies they're bacteria traps <laughs> so you just learn to live with it for the most part okay we're broken up for the rest of the day <laughs> mm, the food is fantastic Kramer. Huh? Well, what a pretty radish rose huh well thank you well, first, on her first week of being germ-free free, free. Uh, yeah 
And here's to David Putty for helping me install a much needed and much appreciated garbage disposal in my bathtub. Ah. Yeah. You have a garbage disposal in your bathtub? Oh yeah, and I use it all the time. Yeah, I made this whole meal in there. This food was in the shower with you? Mm-hmm. I prepared it as I bathed. Oh.